Hello guys and girls, welcome back to the Racing Line for another circuit guide here on iRacing. This is week 10 of season 2 2021 in the GT3 Challenge Fix Series, the new B-Class series that is out. And this week we are around Autodromo Nazionale Monza, the Grand Prix layout, driving the Ferrari 488 GT3. Time and date is set to the 22nd of May 2021 at 2.55 in the afternoon. So match the official time sent out on the season 2 PDF. Set up is the medium sprint setup to match the fixed series because it you can't put your own setups on. Same format as before, breakdown lap followed by full speed uninterrupted lap followed by an off-board lap and as usual this is filmed before the week has begun so it's difficult to compare lap times but let's see if we can help you guys find some time. So here we go then, coming down the extremely long main straight, down the Temple of Speed circuit, a really fast circuit, not much to learn uh, but difficult to nail a really fast lap here. You want to be on the left hand side ready for the tight right hand chicane, braking zone, the 150 meter board. You can push it a little bit past this but I wouldn't go too much further. It's hard on the brakes right down into first gear. Braking in a straight line as long as you can and then you want to turn in but you don't want to mount this curb too much. This is pretty much the limit before you get a 1x or a slowdown. You can see we coast into the second one and we start accelerating er early even though we mount the curb a little bit but then the straighter your car is the earlier you can get on full throttle and then there's another nice flat out section holding it to this right hand side all the way round unless of course you want to defend into the next chicane in which case you can open up your steering a bit and get over to the left but you want to be on the right hand side for a fast lap the next braking zone is this bridge i'm not going to use the shadows i've been told off for that before so we're going to use the bridge instead hard on the brakes fifth down to second gear again cut this first curve and then avoid the second curve if you can because it's quite bumpy and don't go full throttle until you've passed it because the rear end gets very unstable through there. This braking zone is tricky. There's an opening in the trees on the right-hand side. You want to brake towards the later half of that opening, down back into second gear, holding it tight to the right-hand side curb before you get back on that throttle, being careful not to use too much of the track on the exit. This braking zone, about a car length in front of the 50-meter board, from fourth down into third gear for the second Lesmo here. Down... In, turn it into the apex and then get on the power as early as you can but, but again do not extend that curb because you will get a 1x this track is notorious for those 1x's and those slowdowns so be careful there is one track extend you can do though and that is coming right up so we've got second to last braking zone now it is the nice and easy to spot bridge or the orange marker on the right hand side hard on the brakes and we're going to go down into second gear you want to mount this first curve a little bit but be careful not to go on full throttle until just about after and you can see you're then committed to the rest of the corner as you climb up through the gears and you can use all of the track on the exit there way past the white line and you won't get a 1x but don't touch the grass on the right hand side because that's where you will get a 1x one more braking zone it's the parabolica coming up and it's nice and easy to spot again it's the 100 meter board we're going to get hard on the brakes again in a straight line we're going to go down from fifth into second gear and then you can kind of trail break in you want to coast in be careful of the rear end we actually lose about two temps here because we didn't get it in early enough the back end snapped out on us and we had to kind of go with it it's easier to go with the slide than to try and still turn in but you want to get the smoothest exit you can and then across the line nice and early for a 150.5 this lap let's go full speed uninterrupted now going over what we just went over so we're coming down this main straight we want to slowly drift over to the left hand side ready for the tight right hand chicane of turn one it's all about smooth inputs here and you need to keep an eye on the telemetry to see where i go full throttle and where i'm going about 75 percent hard on the brakes down to first get it in a little bit dab of the throttle quick lift off to get it turned into the second apex and then smooth on the power uh holding the right hand side curb all the way along this straight the braking zone for there obviously being the 150 meter board as we went over so holding the right hand side curb now you want to stick to the right hand side all the way around and we're going to look for the bridge for our next braking zone hard on the brakes from fifth down to second gear this time and you want to turn in slightly early mount the first curb a little bit avoid this second one as we get on the throttle you can see we're not on full throttle till we've passed that bounce over the curb just past the opening in the trees on the right dab the brakes down to second get it turned in hold the right hand side curb back on the power using a little bit of the curb on the exit just before the 50 meter board down to third get it chucked in hit the apex back on the power at the midpoint but half throttle initially and then as soon as you know you're going to make it and not extend the track you can go full throttle all the way down for another main overtaking zone. The next braking zone is the bridge, not this one of course. The next little bridge or the orange mark on the right, hard on the brakes, fifth down to second gear, get it turned in. You can mount the inside curve a little bit but then it's smooth on the power, full speed throughout the rest of them but avoid those sausage curves and you can use a bit of the track on the exit as well but be careful on that grass on the right hand side. You can see that we're fully committed on the throttle. If you sacrifice a bit more speed on that first apex then you can take more 
through the rest of it and increase your speed down the end. 100 meter board, final braking zone now, down into second again, coast in. And you really want to be a little bit closer to that curve on the right hand side on entry than we were here, but then smooth on the power again, just carry that speed out. Uh, there's varying lines through the parabolica. Some people go right out to the left, but it's completely up to you and however much speed you have carried through. And there we go, there's a lap of Autodromo Nazionale Monza. Uh, as usual, that is pretty much it from me. Don't forget to keep those likes and comments coming in. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We finally hit the 2,000 mark, so who knows where we're going to go to next. Obviously, the next target will be 3,000, so keep those subscribers coming in. Share it with your iRacing mates if you need to. Thinking about trying some other racing games as well, so be sure to comment down below and let me know what you want to see on the channel as it is. Well, it's doing a lot better than I expected, and I thank you all for your support. And as usual, if I don't see you on track this week, then I'll see you next week for the next video here on The Racing Line. Peace.